What's up guys, Frazier here for Complex News. Kanye was once again at the center of controversy, this time thanks to his appearance on Tuesday's TMZ Live, where he proclaimed that 400 years of slavery sounds like a choice. As he does, Kanye went on Twitter to explain himself and double down on his comments. Although he let followers know that he's actually aware that black people didn't board the ships to America by their own free will, Ye defended himself by saying that he was talking about mental slavery. My point is, for us to have stayed in that position even though the numbers were on our side means that we were mentally enslaved. Ye turned his attention to media in the next few tweets and implicitly compared his situation to lynching. He also claimed Nate Parker's 2016 film Birth of a Nation didn't gain traction because it showed slaves revolting and ignored the whole rape allegations thing, and threw in that he understood why Puff called his television channel Revolt. Even though his comments earned him more heat than fans, Kanye tweeted that he knew TMZ would be awesome. He ended the address with two Harriet Tubman references, calling this moment the overground hell road and attributing a quote, I freed a thousand slaves, I could have freed a thousand more if only they knew they were slaves. Twitter users quickly pointed out that Tubman did not actually say that. At this point, Kanye's jumped his own shark in unpredictable and indefensible comments. Where he goes next is anyone's guess, but it probably won't be anywhere remorseful. But whatever he does, we'll be here to cover it. Keep it locked to Complex News on YouTube. For Complex, I'm Frazier.